Hi everyone, in this session we will discuss about Android process management. So we already know that every, every Android application runs its own Linux process. We already know that every Android application runs in its own Linux process. And at the same time, every application consists of different application components. Every Android application consists of different uh, application components like activity, service, broadcast receiver, etc. So we will see those. So the applications should use the application should use these components correctly. If anything goes wrong, the system will kill the application's process. Okay, if anything goes wrong, the systems will kill the system will kill the application process. Okay. So now we will see the process types. So we have different uh, types of process like uh, foreground process and we have visible process, service process, background process and empty process. We will see them in detail. So coming to the foreground process. First one is foreground process. What is a foreground process? A process is considered to be as a foreground process if, if any one of the if any one of the condition is hold, what are those conditions? So, if it is running an activity at the top of the screen, if it is running, if it is running anything on top of the screen, okay, that the user is interacting with it, then we call that it will come under foreground process. The second condition is it has a broadcast receiver that is currently running. It has a broadcast receiver that is currently running. Yeah, okay. And uh, it, it has a service that is currently executing code in one of its callbacks. Okay. If it is currently executing in any one of its callbacks, if any one of these conditions is satisfied, okay, then that particular process we call it as a foreground process. Okay. Coming to the visible process, what do you mean by visible process? A process is considered as a visible process. Here also some conditions. If any condition, if one of the, the conditions we are discussing, if any one of the condition falls true, then that process we call it as a visible process. We will see. If it is running on activity that is visible to the user on screen. Okay, if you are running an activity that is visible on the user on screen, okay. But it is not in the foreground, but it is not being executed in the foreground, then we call it as visible process. Okay. Another, another one is uh, it has another condition. If it has a if it has a service that is running as a foreground through service start foreground by using that, that also okay. If it is satisfying any one of these conditions, we call it as a visible process. The third one is service process. The third one is service process. A process holding a service that has been started with the start service. That has been started with the start service method. Start service method. Okay, then we call this as service process. Okay. So example is uh, playing music in the background, okay, like that we have some examples. Next one is a, a background process. What is background process? A process is considered as background, it also has some conditions. They are nothing but when an activity is running a method like on stop. Like on stop, uh, that is currently uh, the user is not interacting with that activity. Okay, when it is running on stop, means currently the user is not interacting with this. Okay, or else if the system uh, maintains LRU, LRU is nothing but least recently used, list of background process. Okay, the system is using LRU, least recently used. Okay, and when a, our, the third condition, whenever a process decides to kill, it stores, uh, it stores the uh, it stores the set of activities. So whenever next user wants that activity, we can restore. Whenever we are going to kill any uh, any process, so all those all those activities associated with that process, now they will store somewhere. And if any new user wants to use 
uh, the activities which were used by the previous uh, process, then we will restore that. Okay. So if anything happens, okay. So killing the activities, if anything goes, uh, if anything happens, then we say that it will come under background process. Okay. The last but not least is an empty process. So what do you mean by empty process? A process is considered empty if it holds some conditions like when a process don't have any activity, when a process have no, when a process has no activity component. Okay. And second one is caching of empty process inside memory. It reduces relevance of application once again if user wants that application in future. Okay. So these are some of the areas where the process comes under empty process. Okay. So these are some of the process types. Right. With this we will wind up our uh, session. Thank you.